Embark with me to the Islamic Golden Age, discovering Al-Kindi, the father of Arab philosophy, in an intellectual hub called the House of Wisdom. Ready for enlightenment? Diving right into the heart of our subject, let's talk about the harmony of knowledge ably personified by Al-Kindi, a philosopher-science polymath who's rather unique for his time. Known for his interdisciplinary approach, Al-Kindi masterfully integrated Greek philosophy with Islamic scholarship, subtly creating intellectual bridges that hadn't existed before. His thirst for truth and knowledge wasn't restricted by cultural boundaries, which enabled him to see beyond the divides. Moving forward, Al-Kindi's rationalist methodology required an uncompromised devotion to logical precision, with a pronounced focus on illimitable concepts like infinity. He fervently believed that clear, reasoned arguments were the backbone of all intellectual pursuits and remained dogged in his quest for logical clarity. Speaking of legacy, Al-Kindi's devotion to logic and rationality didn't go unnoticed. It influenced thinkers among the Renaissance period, a testament to his enduring prowess in the intellectual field. The visual on this slide showcases a fragment of his immense contribution across disciplines, further underscoring his interdisciplinary approach. His refusal to be confined to a single realm of knowledge has shaped multiple disciplines, morphing them into a wholly unique intellectual brand. Al-Kindi, in a nutshell, wasn't a man merely of his era. He was a visionary for ages to come. Al-Kindi, born 801 in Kufa, profoundly absorbed the intellectual ethos of the Abbasid realm. This environment cultivated his insatiable curiosity, birthing a philosopher of rare intellectual caliber. When Greek philosophy met Islamic thought under Al-Kindi's aegis, it sparked an intellectual synthesis, fostering a vibrant cross-cultural learning ecosystem. Parallelly, another intellectual phenomenon was afoot, the translation movement. Primarily translating pivotal works into Arabic, it sparked a colossal wave of creative cross-pollination. This intellectual surge converged at the House of Wisdom, playing host to the finest minds of the time, fueling groundbreaking innovations. Importantly, patronage from multicultural scholar communities provided the essential catalyst for these innovative outbursts. Consequently, today we retain much of that wisdom. It was this preserved knowledge that later influenced the course of the European Renaissance, testament to the enduring worth of this ancient intellectual alchemy. Born in Kufa, Al-Kindi's infantile fascination with knowledge was cultivated in the intellectually rich nurseries of the Abbasid era. These traditions fostered an insatiable curiosity that would indelibly define his intellectual ascension, framing his approach to learning as an exercise in unity, bringing together multifaceted domains including mathematics, philosophy, medicine, and astronomy into a congruous intellectual framework. The intellectual environs of Baghdad, and specifically the House of Wisdom, were vital crossroads in his journey. Here, ancient scripts in Greek, Sanskrit, and Pahlavi danced around in symphony, opening his world to a melting pot of cultures, ideas, and knowledge. Their timeless wisdom sculpted Al-Kindi's intellectual development, generously aided by the Abbasid Caliph's patronage. Their support ignited his curiosity into a ceaseless flame of discovery, widening intellectual horizons towards a groundbreaking pursuit of knowledge. This cycle of collaboration and support, local and global, was instrumental in crafting Al-Kindi's multidimensional scholarly praxis. Thus, Al-Kindi's intellectual profile emerged as the epitome of his era's innovative spirit, deeply influencing the meta-theater of civilization's intellectual drama. Al-Kindi's intellectual prowess was exemplified in his synthesis of Greek philosophy and Islamic faith. His exploration of Aristotelian logic in tandem with Islamic beliefs initiated a conscious dialogue between reason and revelation. A groundbreaking feat in itself, considering the disparate religious and philosophical norms of the ninth century. His pursuits weren't restricted to theoretical realms, drawing from his substrate of knowledge, me, he crafted an ingenious blend of Neoplatonic ideas with Islamic teachings, culminating in a comprehensive understanding of the soul. This broadened the horizons of traditional thought processes and initiated scientific exploration with a firm foundation in logic and reason. A fascinating egress of Al-Kindi's endeavors was in the field of cryptanalysis, where he employed philosophical logic towards deciphering messages, 
highlighting the applied bearing of his theoretical undertakings. This approach to knowledge, where interdisciplinary insights harmoniously reverberated, allowed Alkindi to drive an intellectual revolution. His work, imbued with a sense of universality, transcended the bounds of his era, proving that when it comes to the pursuit of knowledge, the quest itself is the adventure, not the final destination. Remarkably, in our quest to understand Alkindi, we rediscover a seminal truth that the truth, indeed, is universal. Alkindi's enormous footprint on the intellectual landscape penetrated multiple disciplines. His application of frequency analysis and cryptography revolutionized secure communication of his time and inspired what we now understand as cryptanalysis and cybersecurity. In medical sciences, inspired by the holistic health philosophy, Alkindi introduced overarching strategies focused on the intrinsic connection between mental and physical well-being. This insight was the precursor to standardized pharmacology as he presented the concepts of precise dosages and drug categorization. Notably, his radical approach to proactive, preventive health measures over reactive solutions became instrumental in shaping modern medicine. In a rather bold move for his era, he managed to merge astrological principles with disease diagnosis, broadening the healthcare landscape. These crucial legacies exemplify Alkindi's genius, not just for his time, but also his lasting impact on our digital and healthcare strategies today. Understanding Alkindi isn't about mere facts. It is a journey through his life, philosophies, universality of knowledge, and the undeniable proof that indeed, knowledge is power. With Al-Kindi harmoniously marrying Greek philosophy and Islamic science, he pioneered the scientific study of music, born 801 in the intellectual hub of Kufa. His precise observations led him to the discovery of a fascinating principle regarding the pitch of a string and its length. By having the length of a string, the pitch raised by an exact octave, a breakthrough that he further dissected into a mathematical definition for creating harmonious scales. This innovative exploration sparked a revolutionary growth in our understanding of acoustics and music theory. His deep influence then echoed through the field of music. Employing mathematical strategies, he meticulously analyzed the divisions of an octave into various tones using numerical ratios unraveling the arcana of harmony. Building on his fundamental groundwork, key figures such as the renowned Al-Urmawi and Guido of Arezzo embarked on significant further research. Al-Kindi even applied his knowledge to enhance the design of the oud, a commonly used string instrument, refining its structure to produce better harmonics. This transformative impact pays homage to Al-Kindi's lasting imprint on the world of music, underscoring his innovation and legacy. Al-Kindi, a sage fraught with challenges, navigated with extraordinary prudence. His strategy springing from his alliance with Caliph al-Mamun ensured crucial political support. Navigating the complex corridors of the Abbasid Empire, he protected and preserved his intellectual legacy despite shifts in power and ideology. His fervent defense of Greek philosophy during a time of opposing ideologies serves as an enduring testament to his commitment to open intellectual discourse. The cross-pollination of Greek philosophy and Islamic thought under Al-Kindi's dispassionate energy brought about vital harmonization amidst ideological flux. During his tenure at the House of Wisdom, Al-Kindi's scholarly influence flourished under the auspicious patronage of Al-Mamun. Unfortunately, his thriving intellectual journey hit a snag during the reign of Al-Mutawakil. However, like a true scholar, Al-Kindi didn't let the unfavorable circumstances deter his focus justifying the saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Much like the Odyssey of old, Al-Kindi's life too was studded with trials and triumphs, infusing each chapter of his life with profound learning, thereby giving us fascinating lessons that are instrumental even today. Gerard of Cremona, a translator in high demand, turned his talents to the works of Al-Kindi, opening their secrets to Latin readers and spreading the philosopher's intellectual legacy beyond the Islamic world. Al-Kindi's range of manuscripts, exploring areas from optics to cryptography, served as inspiration to many, notably Roger Bacon, the Franciscan friar who built upon Al-Kindi's foundations, exploring these disciplines in greater depth. Delving into the philosophical realm, Al-Kindi's influence is perhaps even more far-reaching. 
Before him, the Aristotelian perspective held sway, emphasizing empirical observation and potentiality. Yet, Al-Kindi introduced an alternative approach, the fusion of Islamic faith and Greek rationalism. Through this synthesis, he reimagined philosophy within the Islamic world, demonstrating that rational inquiry need not conflict with religious belief, but could effectively interpret and integrate it. With Al-Kindi at the helm, an unprecedented shift occurred, a blend of ideas that forever altered the philosophical landscape. No longer were Islamic thought and rationalism seen as opposing forces, but rather two elements in harmony, working in concert to explore the mysteries of existence. Even now, this fusion's echoes ripple through time, evidencing the enduring influence of Al-Kindi's pioneering insights. A leap from the realms of the past to the present day brings to light the relevance of Al-Kindi's work in our era. His integration of diverse disciplines characterizes the multifaceted nature of modern research, which emphasizes innovative problem-solving strategies. By marrying fields as varied as mathematics and music theory, he embodied the essence of the interdisciplinary approach that is, even today, a potent tool for tackling worldly complexities. Furthermore, his emphasis on empirical observation and experimentation laid the groundwork for our contemporary scientific methodologies. Today, this approach is mirrored in the principles of randomized controlled trials, an integral part of evidence-based science. Lastly, Al-Kindi preached the gospel of critical thinking, instilling a spirit of skepticism that lies at the heart of all scientific inquiry. His teachings ring true today in every corner of intellectual activity, urging us to question, evaluate, and seek evidence instead of blindly accepting authoritative sources. Modern science owes much to Al-Kindi's pioneering methods that shaped it into an empirical, critical, and skeptical discipline. The sheer breadth of Al-Kindi's scholarship is quite astounding, beginning with his novel integration of Aristotelian philosophy within Islam. He struck a potent conversation between philosophy and faith by affirming the immortality of the soul, a pioneering juxtaposition of two often seen as disparate realms. Al-Kindi also played a crucial role in the evolution of cryptanalysis, developing frequency analysis, which continues to serve as a bedrock for modern cryptography. Pivoting further, he probed dimensions of optics and pharmacology through philosophical logic, a confluence that pushed the envelope in understanding these fields' empirical aspects. These astonishing advances were not confined to the East. Al-Kindi's ability to cross-pollinate Islamic and Greek learning bequeathed an intellectual legacy so robust that the ripple effect was felt even in Western Renaissance times, influencing luminaries such as Roger Bacon. It wouldn't be far-fetched to say the strides we continue to make in these domains, carrying the torch forward, reflect Al-Kindi's far-seeing genius, a testament to his innovative spirit that effortlessly linked the cosmic arc of faith, reason, philosophy, and practice.